whisper of movement, like air on cotton, barely a sound at all. Victor heard it, but almost dismissed it. Buildings as old as this one made noises all the time. The next sound was like that. Crumbling plaster in the walls, pieces of grit scratching against each other, or vermin. He supposed it wasn't beyond the realms of possibility for a few mice to have sneaked into the skirting boards. Slowly, he raised his head from the pillow, turning in the direction of the sound. It was coming from the corner of the room, he realized. Not a corner of the floor, but the ceiling. A jittery confusion of fibers, sandpaper, or dry leaves. No, none of these. Hi, Dutch here. And I want to talk about this book and this one. Here's two. Ah, Prince of Nightmares by John McNee. This book is, you can't put it down, you just want to keep reading. It is that good. Um, so I went to Phoenix Comic Fest this past weekend and I was flipping through the little pamphlet book that they give you when you go to Comic-Con, Comic Fest, sorry, and uh, I saw an ad for Bloodbound Books, and I personally love anything that has to do with horror. If you know my other YouTube channel, Dutch Lizard, you know it's all about pretty much horror video gaming, stuff like that. So, um, I love horror-themed things and stuff like that so my cat apparently likes it too as she's walking behind the camera come here Juliet and um, so I knew I had to stop by and check them out and see what books they had to offer um, the amazing people there um, directed me to a few different books one of them being Prince of Nightmares I don't know why I keep holding up the book since it's back here um, just because it's in my hand and I love it so much. So, I brought it home, started reading it, did not want to put it down. If you like horror and gore and suspense and a crazy plot that, honestly, you will be guessing through the book exactly what's going on and it is not what happened. It is so good. It is so good at the end. And the book goes and it keeps you in suspense as you're going. And then it comes to that final culmination. And it's just bam, 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 bam. Things just going on and going off and going on around you. And it's just crazy. And it is amazing. I, I so recommend this book. I picked up a few other books from Bloodbound. And I am so excited to get to reading them. And I will be doing video reviews of those also. So if you have any questions about this book, leave me a message or a comment and I will do my best. Um, you can always get a hold of Bloodbound Books on their website. I will be posting all of the links down below this video uh, so you can check them out, look at all the other books that they have to offer. If you see any books in particular that you want me to review or you get, tell me if you like them or not. Tell Bloodbound how amazing they are. And that's about that. I, like I said, I 100% recommend reading this book. It is so good. You will not want to put it down. You don't even want to put it down after you're done reading. You just want more and more and more. Um, I just want to thank the author for creating this and there's one, one thing in the book, um, there's a ton of things in the book, but one of the things in the book is this almost like guidebook slash pamphlet history that they talk about of this hotel, the Balador, and, um, I want a copy of that. I know it's not real, but I totally want to read a copy of this history of, I mean, it's all in here. I mean, the history and everything about it, but I want that little book. It just sounds so good. And, uh, so I, I mean, seriously, you need to check it out. Check out Bloodbound and 
that's that. If you have any suggestions of other books that you want me to review, podcasts, subscription boxes, just things like that, going out to a restaurant, whatever you need me to do, Dutch will review it because Dutch reviews whatever. And I will see you next time. Bye.